So it's exciting to have uh, Bowl back on because he, uh, I guess, that the, where he really got got popular is when he actually predicted the high, the, the day gold would peak <laughs> back in. I think it was 2011. A, was that 2011? Yeah, that was one of them. You know, yeah. that's kind of put, like, put me on the charts, I guess. And then from then, all kinds of, you know. Um, I just do time calculations. I, I don't really, I don't seek you know, any like major recognition or anything. I just, I just want people to understand that the timelines that I do put out, they're 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 of significance because they're biblical, you know, mm -hmm. and so they're God's timelines, and so it's so important to understand that you know God does everything in particular times and in particular seasons, and so right now in a really incredible season. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, of 2022. Yeah, and then the, the, the first time I talked to you, it was like a Lance, more the, the, theological discussion and with your timelines. And the second time I got you is after we really, you and I both started getting into Julie Green a lot, right? And started having a lot of those discussions. And so the second time, it was so fun to talk about all of Julie Green's uh, prophetic insights to on some of the people that we've been talking about for the last two or three years, right? So that's been pretty yeah. awesome. When I first heard Julie Green, I knew, I maybe that was a year and a half ago or so when she just started her YouTube, YouTube channel. She maybe had under 10,000 subscribers, maybe like 5,000 uh -huh. or something. But, you know, when you hear the truth, you know it, right? And so when I heard her prophetic words, I knew they were, you know, of God. And so I immediately actually took some of her, couple of her prophecies and actually created a um, uh, an entire video with a collage of like, things that we dropped into the video and so made it like fun and enjoyable. But the, the, the main thing that I got when I heard of her was the fact that she speaks directly in relation to uh, Exodus, you know, and and so that's such a powerful thing. That's what I've been hearing for so long as well, too, that we are, you know, in a time of Exodus. And you know, if you have those of that have listened to my presentations, you know, you'll understand how this is absolutely no different what's going on in our world right now versus what happened thousands of years ago with Pharaoh and Israel. And the, the, the main differentiation between then and now, there's only one major de difference. And that major difference is when the Israelites were enslaved, they knew it. Mm -hmm. And we are believed, you know, we all believe we're free, but that's the farthest from the truth. We're not, and we're all enslaved. They own us. They own everything. We own nothing. <laughs> well, exactly. See, biblically, we're supposed to be the lenders to the nations, mm -hmm. not the debtors to the nations, right? And so it's it's in Deuteronomy. They've turned that on us, and they've turned us into debt slaves. Uh, again, the word I use the word slaves. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're no different than Egypt and Israel. Israel was enslaved, and we are debt slaves. So the only difference is they weren't debt slaves and we are. They were just enslaved. Mm -hmm. But the bottom line is the word slavery is the essence of what's been thrust upon the world. And it's because of the global, because of the banking system of the world has created this entire problem. Well, not the banking system, the people that created the banking system created the whole problem. But who do they work for, right? They work for a, a fallen angel.